Hello and welcome to another episode of Frames TM. Now there is more rumors coming from China on the Z6 III. There are fundamentally five things that I picked up from this rumor this time and it sort of aligns with uh, what we discussed the last time that it's going to be a very good video first hybrid camera. Well, a camera within 2000 to 2500 US dollars price point is never really truly video focused um, hybrid camera. That is just to say that video is going to be a central area where Nikon is going to show some innovation or it's going to push the boundary. So the first thing is that we're hearing that it's going to be an accelerated 24.5 megapixel sensor. What does that mean? I think it's a an even faster readout, uh, readout sensor. Maybe it's a tweak or an update on the existing Z6 II or ZF sensor. We are hearing that it's going to be able to shoot at 40 frames per second in electronic shutter. There's no mention whether that's going to be in RAW or JPEG. I'm guessing it's going to be JPEG. I will be pleasantly surprised if that's going to happen with RAW. Uh, it will also be able to shoot in 120 FPS in DX or crop mode which is going to give you about, uh, I think, 8 to 10 megapixels. Now, when it comes to the autofocus system, it says, the rumor says that it's going to have an algorithm that is even better than what, what's found in the ZF and the Z8. But it doesn't say that it's better than the Z9, which if I sort of take this as a base argument, uh, this could mean that the Z9 autofocus algorithm is actually better than the ZF and the Z8 when the ZF and Z8 are probably similar. And uh, when I use the ZF and the Z8, I honestly find them to be actually quite similar, uh, except the fact that the Z8 has a much faster uh, readout sensor. Now, if this sensor is going to be fast readout, that's definitely going to help the autofocus system again. Uh, it says that it's going to have dual data autofocus system, dual data stream autofocus system. I'm guessing that the dual data stream autofocus system is essentially a system where the feedback to the sensor to capture the image and the feedback to the EVF for the viewer to see the image are going to be separated just like it is done on the Z9 and the Z8. And if that's true, there's a possibility that it's... Um, Again, a blackout free camera. I don't know. But if it's a blackout free camera, then is it going to be a stacked sensor without a shutter? There's a lot of conversations. We don't know what it's going to be. So it's it's giving me as many questions as it is giving me answers. When it comes to video, I'm again, this is a bit confusing. It says that ProRes 422HQ 10 bit in AMOV format up to 4K 60. Well, then it says 6K oversampled, downsampled to 4K uh, in 10-bit MOV H265. Now, and in that, you're going to get up to 120 frames per second in DX mode. But the leak also says that you're going to get a 6K60 image and you're also going to get a video in 4K 120 frames per second, 12-bit NRAW. Does it mean that you're going to get 4K 120 in DX crop? If it is that, uh, I'm going to be disappointed. I, I, I don't think in 2023, mid-2023, the Z63 should come again with a crop when it comes to 4K 120. I honestly think they should just get rid of the crop and that is the opportunity to innovate and sort of that's a, uh, honestly the blue uh, blue ocean space where not exactly blue ocean, but you know what I mean. I think that's where no no one else is competing right now within 2,500 um, US dollars, 4K 120 frames per second without any crop. That's the way to go. And 6K 60, again, um, a full image circle. And if they come with a crop, I'll be disappointed. But the big, big news is that it's going to have enroll. Previously, um, the conversation was that the Z63 will not have NRAW, but this time it says that it's going to have NRAW. The other information with this leak is that it's going to have a body that's inspired by the Z8, which means it's going to be a slightly big, bigger body. Now, if it's a slightly bigger body, 
it will have the capability to handle more heat does that mean that it's really going to have NRAW because you know all the heat that's generated by the NRAW maybe uh, a slightly bigger body a slightly bigger body can handle that I don't know at this point if you are new to the channel or if you're coming back for the second or third time do subscribe because you know I've been at it for some time I'd like to see some growth in the channel and if you're liking the conversation here why not I mean it, it's really costs you nothing and uh, I'd like to reach 5000 subscribers by the end of february that's not too much but if you're watching please help me out by pressing on the subscribe button and pressing on the bell icon now when it comes to ibis it says it's going to have the seven stop ibis system but it's going to be better than zf in video stabilization and let me tell you the, the ibis and zf is fantastic it is really good in both photo and in video and i never felt that it is lacking anywhere but it's such a welcome thing to hear that there is a possibility of improving on video stabilization further uh, than what we find on the zf that's amazing like i said the body style is likely to be somewhat bigger inspired by the z8 which means it's going to have an ibis lock it's going to have more space for the ibis system to move around giving us better ibis uh, therefore better thermal management therefore possibility of you know getting 4k 120 and 6k 60 and even n raw um, it's going to have two card slots uh, it'll have a cf express card slot and uhs 2 uh, so just like the z8 expected because that's what we've been seeing on the z62 z72 bodies as well so overall i think there are a few things that are new in this news but uh, of course there are conflicts within this news and conflict within uh, with what we have heard previously previously we heard that there's not going to be any end raw previously we also heard that um, that it could be a 45.5 megapixel sensor or it could be uh, you know a 33 megapixel sensor we don't know we are hearing more about uh, about 24 megapixel sensor than a 33 megapixel sensor um we are hearing that it's going to be a faster sensor which is something that we're hearing for the first time but that's something i always talked about i think uh, even if you give us the same sensor ensure that it's faster otherwise why don't you just increase the megapixels i mean either you give us more resolution or give us more speed and in order for it to give us more speed i think you need a, i need a faster sensor and the faster sensor will also enable better autofocus even a better and stronger algorithm cannot work if the hardware doesn't support that kind of that that kind of software and coding so i think this leak somehow is sort of making sense i understand the bigger body i understand the faster sensor these are two fundamental hardware uh, changes and if that's true it, it is quite plausible that you're going to see uh, better and more capable video codecs uh, and even better ibis and better autofocus let me know what you think and uh, like i said if you're new to the channel or if you're coming back please care to subscribe and let me know what you think uh, this is an interesting update i think we are getting near the launch of the z63 i don't know when it'll finally come out we can hear something during february mid-february or by the end of february and i think uh, there's a very high chance that you're going to get um, near the launch by mid-march or end march and by april i think the z63 could be in the market now we have heard that there is going to be another camera along the z63 i don't think it's going to be the zh or a faster version of the Z9. I think we're going to get a firmware update on the Z9. We have heard about that before, but that's a separate conversation for another day. I'm going to see you soon with an update on another uh, thought piece. So look forward to that. I'm going to see you soon.